Hello SGD, Sacred Geometry Decoded and a drawing exercise again and we're going to draw a compass rose. So here's the final one and you can be much more, uh, there are a lot of variations to do on it. Here's one form to do it, you can be more colourful, detailed in the, in the colouring, spend more time on the um, 32 points. But it's compass and straight edge, I'm using a pencil then I use a pen, uh, red and blue at the end. So it's a compass rose. Here's another example of a compass rose and you'll note, so for instance at the top you can see north and then east, south, west. But what you also have is in total 32 of the points of the compass. Um, so you often might hear in the old movies when they talk about one point to the east, one point to the west. So it has to do with compass points as well, so the old school navigation. <laughs> But this is an interesting theme because it connects to many other esoteric um, architectural connections. And so there's an example of an old-fashioned compass. And so you'll notice on the inside again we have north, northeast, east, southeast. But they've divided the pardon the compass up into those points. Essentially, it's creating a 32 point of the compass. So what we have is 32 points of the compass centered around the 33rd core where you'll also see that like here's one example you, you see those old antique clocks with all the sun rays coming off the sunburst clock uh sometimes they'll be 12 as in the 12 hours but the, the cool ones um other ones that have such as here 32 rays around the outside so you have 16 rays coming out further but then there's 16 in between so 32 which is 32 then the 33rd being the core point. I'll put a link, uh, some links in the description because I went into this, so it's in architecture, town planning, religious architecture, has to do with other connections as well, but uh, the compass wheel, um, you can use that same 32 pattern, so you don't have to draw the compass rows, but now for instance, here's just an example of a 32 ray sun, and the, the point is that the, the 33rd is the core point. Now, uh, here's a portal land mapping. This is the old map before longitude and latitude and those uh, cross sections. You'll notice that there's, for all these lines, every once in a while you'll see like a little sunburst where all these points come together. What they're doing, so we have a central one there, and I've just highlighted it, and what we have is 32 rays coming off that 33rd central core. Here's another example of portal land mapping, such as that famous Perry Reese map and these other old maps uh, the way they designed the maps and did their navigation was different and again in the center you'll see the 32 points coming out of there and the blue lines uh, end short because they point to other reference points so there's the 32 rays will point to other collections of 32 rays this was how navigation was done in the past and it's a 32 and 33 connection around the 33rd or the core point here's a now underneath this is a dome in st paul's cathedral in london on the floor beneath we have the same pattern but again we have 32 columns around the 33rd core point uh the millennial wheel of a london eye i forget the exact title but you know 32 carriages around the 33rd core point uh the monument to the discoveries in lisbon portugal there's a compass rose there again, it's 32 you know, points around the 33rd. But uh, on the inauguration of this, they had 32 boats of 14 nations, but there in the center is a monument of the discoveries, which is shaped like a, a old sailing ship. So there's 32 boats plus the 33rd. And on the monument themselves, there are 33 so 16 on each side with henry the navigator at the at the prow is at the, the at the front of the boat so again it's 32 but the 33rd being that point so there's a compass rose again 32 points around the 33rd so uh un map we have 32 sectors around the 33rd core point uh, in the us dollar bill there are 32 feathers on one wing there are 33 on the other uh, Pyramid of Peace and Reconciliation in Astana by Norman Foster. Just another example. This is, a really, this is a really important building. A lot of esoteric connections in regards to Astana and Norman Foster. But again, it's 32 points around this very important diplomatic table. The 33rd being the core. 
I'll put a link in the description, 33 US dollar bill, Freemasons, uh, the 2D and 3D geometry that come from that. But now, for instance, in Scottish Rite, there are 33 steps, uh, levels, degrees in Scottish Rite Freemasonry. 32 are open, the 33rd is by invitation only. So links to some of these other videos in the description because it's got more to it than that. But now let's just uh, get into it and we'll do the drawing. Again, it's just, uh, I've sort of sped up bits, but I've kept it at part slow enough so you get the process. Anyway, SGG, hope you enjoyed. I'll just now play the video of the drawing with the music. And uh, cheers and have a good one.